To my left and following um, is Keith Rapp, Director of Gaston County Office of Emergency Management, uh, Chief Joseph D. Ramey, Chief of the Gaston County Police Department, Assistant Chief Jamie McConnell with Gaston Emergency Medical Services, and Assistant Chief Gary Hilton with Spencer Mountain Volunteer Fire Department. Um, as all of you know, um, Tuesday morning at around 11, at, at around 7 a.m., we received a call from the 911 center about a man standing on an island in the South Fork River. Um, rescue crews responded, found a young male teenager in the water, and subsequently we learned that after rescue, that we were we had another young man who had been swimming with him as well. Um, an extensive search was begun using air, ground, and and river teams. Throughout Tuesday, uh, we reconvened again the following day and searched the area again numerous times. Um, yesterday, we took a focused approach with uh, drones and ground teams. Um, and this morning, we again uh, returned to the area with a large search team as the water levels had receded to uh, give us a better opportunity uh, to look for Ethan. Um, the teams today that responded were from the Gaston Emergency Medical Service, Spencer Mountain Volunteer Fire Department, Randlow Fire and Rescue, Gaston County Police Department, Stanley Rescue Squad, Morrisville Fire and Rescue, Denver Fire Department, the South Carolina Search and Rescue Team, the New Hope uh, Fire Department, the North Carolina Center for Exploited and Missing Children, um, and operations were begun about 11 o'clock, um, adding on to that with sonar capability and, and again using specially trained dogs. It is with great sadness that we report that around noon today, um, a body presumed to be that of Ethan Britt, pending official identification, was located just below the Spencer Mountain Dam, which is just below and downstream from where Ethan was last seen. Please continue to pray for Ethan and his family and our responders during this difficult time. This time we'll take any questions you may have. Uh, did the uh, do you think the lowering water levels uh, contributed to you guys finding him today as opposed to the first couple days of the search? Yes, and I'll have any of those questions answered by uh, Deputy Chief McConnell. So the the water that we, to navigate the water today, we were actually able to walk in water um, in dry suits. This is in water that we had trouble even navigating in boats uh, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday morning. So yeah, the, the water receding helped tremendously in us being able to locate him. Great closure. Apparently the current had ripped the clothing off of his friend. Was he wearing any clothes when he was found? Or? We're not going to comment on anything related to um, the condition at this time. How I deep is the water on, on like a normal basis? On a normal basis? Yeah, how deep the water? Uh, it, right now it's about three to four foot in the, the area surrounding um, the dam, or just below the dam. How deep is the water during the flood? Uh, Crested at 14 feet. 14.1. They went in just before that. At the end of um, the last press conference, you guys said you were going to go back to the drawing board and reevaluate how to attack the next phase search. Is there any details that you can give me as to what was different from um, everything you had mentioned prior? You know what we did yesterday, the day yes. as opposed to yesterday? Yes. Well, ye yesterday, again, the water levels were, we went from having too much water to having too little water you know, and for, for water movement of swift water boats. So we, we lost a, a propeller off one of the boats um, so yesterday, um, again, we had searched, researched, searched again, and searched again uh, using the resources that we had. So we, we maintained a different tactic, which was utilizing air and ground crews. And then today we were able to bring, a, bring swift water rafts and have crews and essentially walk in the water where they couldn't navigate the boat. Um, on, we had them on the banks and we had them in the water. So that, that sort of, and again, Deputy Chief McConnell, if you want to add anything to that, you were part of the team. Yep. So, so we were, again, we were able to walk with our dry suits in, in the, the river that we couldn't even navigate in boats on Tuesday. Uh, so we, we started at the point the other young man was rescued uh, on Tuesday and walked north towards the dam. And um, once we found an island that was completely submerged on Tuesday, uh, searched it and we were able to, to locate this victim. Was he underneath any debris or anything that would have been hard? Again, the, the police investigation is still ongoing, so I'm not going to comment on anything specific like that. Had y'all pinpointed this location through like underwater sonar or anything like that before it got to the point where y'all could walk through? No, the, the water moving swiftly, we weren't able to use any kind of sonar equipment in that particular area, so that's why we, we had, on, on the team that actually um, 
discovered this, we had a, a group of 16 of us and one canine um, that were methodically searching up the river. That, is that an area that you had kind of looked at before, but it was difficult, yeah, and so you just kind of circled back? That particular back. area has been covered by boat, by air, by, by every means we've had, but uh, again, the, the receding water levels it was instrumental in us being able to, to take closure to this today. What's it been like for you guys, um, you know, to, to go out there, you know, day after day? Uh, how, uh, how difficult has that been? Can, you, can somebody uh, address think, that? Bill and Keith commented on this yesterday. I think all of us up here are fathers, so we want to make sure that we're bringing closure to this for the family. Uh, so any of us that were working on this, that, that was our key here. We, we want to make sure the family has closure and move forward. Yeah. Especially That's really with this on. being the start of summer, kids are going to be out, there's going to be a lot more rain. I guess it's probably a reminder to families to talk to kids about making sure to stay away from, especially those swift waters. Water safety in general, if you're going to be in the Catawba River and, and Lake Wiley in general, uh, we encourage the use of flotation devices. And then anytime uh, emergency management or any of us put out warnings about potential floods, completely stay away from the water because it, it's difficult even for us trained professionals to navigate that water. Which agency you located, Mr. Uh, the police unit, Mr. Brett? So the, the team, okay. what we would say, this was a team, this was a team effort. So this, and working several parts and working quadrants, everybody had an assignment. So this operation um, is is the one that located it. It wasn't any any specific group or you know of that group. We're a team. We came as a team. We worked as a team. We lead as a team. Were drones still in use this morning during the? Yes. Trip? Yes. We had we had drones drones in the air. Ground teams, specialized dogs, um, swift water teams walking, and swift water teams in. In, uh, in, in um, inflatable watercraft. So yeah, it was, again, we've, we've had extensive searches during three of these days with everything. You know, the first day we were even using Charlotte Mecklenburg helicopter with clear, far looking infrared. So we had all those things going for us and, uh, and, and resources. Uh, different units came in and out over, over time, but we were able to locate. What's the process for all agencies, everyone involved now, moving forward is it one of those things where you analyze the game plan for another unfortunate incident where you have to a a absolutely we we debrief after after one of these incidents for lessons learned things we can do better um things that didn't go well we, we do do that as part of our operation yeah and that debriefing is ongoing right now um we're you know Every one of these things is different, and that's one of the things that we always try to tell people, especially down at the beach, and especially when we talk about stay out of the water, you know, there's a reason for that, because every one of these things is different. And so we try to make sure that when we look at these operations, that we take those lessons away and get ready, and get ready for that next opportunity for us to do better the next time. Thank you very much, and again, we're sorry we had to convey this news. Thank you. Please pray for the families, responders, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.